The nonmetal sulfur has been known since ancient times as brimstone, or the burning stone. Sulfur can sometimes be found in nature in its elemental crystal form. The element itself uh, has no odor, but many of its compounds are very odiferous, a fact that the skunk uses to its advantage. Commercially, most sulfur is used in the production of sulfuric acid. It's also a major component of gunpowder. By weight, it's the eighth most abundant element in the human body. It's very important as an element in some amino acids. Sulfur forms compounds with many other elements. When it combines with iron, it forms the mineral pyrite, also known as fool's gold. It combines with lead to form the gray mineral galena. When sulfur combines with nickel, it can form very fine crystals of the mineral called millerite. Combined with zinc, it can form the black crystals of sphalerite seen here. The element antimony combines with sulfur to form very interesting sword-like crystals of the mineral stibnite. Combined with the poisonous semi-metallic arsenic, it forms beautiful red crystals. Sulfur combines with mercury to form the mineral cinnabar. My favorite sulfur-containing mineral is hackmanite. The very small amount of sulfur in this aluminosilicate mineral gives it some very unusual optical properties under visible and UV light. You can see more about this mineral in another one of my videos. Thanks for watching.